Dr. Kasif Chatri, he's joining us. He's a cardi cardiologist at Mercy Medical Center, and he joins us to talk about atrial fibrillation, and also, it's also known as AFib. And first of all, what is AFib? Yeah, good question. Um, thanks for having me, by the way, on the show. I think it's very relevant that this is the American Heart Month, and we're talk talking about one of the most uh, uh, common arrhythmias worldwide. AFib, or atrial fibrillation, um, is a replacement of the heart's normal uh, regular rhythm with an irregular, chaotic, and often fast rhythm that originates in the left upper chamber of the heart known as the left atrium. It is the most common sustained arrhythmia in the developed world. Uh, and uh, the risks uh, that, that uh, I mean, the, the causative factors for atrial fibrillation include aging. For example, less than one in 1,000 Americans below the age of 50 have AFib, but more than one in 10 Americans over the age of 80 have AFib. So aging uh, causes to certain electrical and structural changes in that left upper chamber that causes atrial fibrillation. And why is it so dangerous? Yeah, so um, AFib in of itself, just because of the irregular and fast rhythm, might be bothersome but not dangerous as such. However, what is dreaded in AFib is the association with AFib with the strokes. What happens is in this upper left upper chamber of the heart, there are small clots that can form in AFib, especially in a small pouch called the left atrial appendage, and these clots can then migrate to the brain and cause strokes, which is why it's very important for uh, AFib to be diagnosed so that people can be placed on blood thinners if they need it to prevent stroke in the future. Which leads me to our next question is that that there's people who may have it and not even know, am I correct? Yeah, that is correct. There's a minority of people who have AFib but have no symptoms at all, which is why it's very dangerous. Uh, but the majority, vast majority of people will have symptoms of, of some sort. And the most common symptoms of AFib are palpitations, um, shortness of breath with activity, lightheadedness, and uh, uh, very rarely even passing out spells. And, uh how is it treated and where can people go for more information? Yeah, so uh, there are many treatment options and treatment is usually individualized uh, depending on the age of the patient, clinical status of the patient, the nature of the atrial fibrillation, the severity and nature of symptoms, et cetera, et cetera. Um, you know, there's medical uh, management and there's uh, uh, catheter-based treatment options for atrial fibrillation as well. And uh, at uh, Mercy Medical Center, at the Heart Center, me and my experienced colleague, Dr. David Glassman, uh, offer a wide variety of uh, management options which are catheter-based uh, other options which are uh, you know uh, medicine and also surgical options which uh, can be used in certain patients for treatment of AFib. All right thank you so much doctor thank you, thank you for joining us.